Hey everyone, this is Chris here, and in today's video, we're going to be finding out whether or not it was possible to read Boris Becker's serve based on the direction of where he pointed his tongue. Now, this is a very old story that goes all the way back to 2007 when Andre Agassi was doing a guest commentary spot for the Roddick Federer quarterfinal match at the US Open. And during this guest spot, Andre had mentioned that he had a secret way of reading Becker's serve, which directly related to. Becker's tongue. Uh, you see, Becker had this tendency to stick his tongue out, um, especially early on in his career, right before he would go into the trophy position of his serve. And Andre had said that he could tell what direction Becker had planned to serve the ball in based on where his tongue was pointed. So if Becker would stick his tongue out to the side of his mouth, that meant he was going to serve the ball wide. And if he would stick his tongue out forward, um, he was actually planning to serve the ball either into the body or down the tee. And I've always found this to be one of the most interesting stories about his rivalry with Becker because um, it's such an unusual detail. And as we know, Andre had a lot of success with dealing with Becker's serve in their matches after 1989. And it seems like something that would be uh, possible to me because Becker was known for sticking his tongue out and he did stick it out in different directions. But I've always wanted to prove that this story was uh, real, kind of find out whether or not it was real or fake. And I thought, why not do a video on it? So uh, here we are today making that video. So this first clip is from their semifinal meeting at the 1990 US Open. Andre would go on to win this match in four sets, and up to this point in his career, this is probably the biggest win that Andre had ever experienced. Um, let's go ahead and watch the first point here as Becker is getting ready to serve, and we're gonna notice that Becker is going to point his tongue here to the corner of his mouth. So according to what Andre had told us, that means that his serve should be going wide. Now let's see what direction it's gonna go in. And as we can tell, Becker's serve did in fact go wide. Now let's take a look at another point, and Becker is again going to stick his tongue out wide to the corner of his mouth. Let's see which way he's gonna go this time. And once again, Boris Becker goes with a wide serve. So there does appear to be a connection here between where Becker would stick his tongue out and the direction of his serve. If we take a look at this clip over here, we're gonna see Becker this time pointing his tongue directly forward. And actually in this case, he does in fact go into Andre's body with the serve. So I think if we re-examine this, we can prove beyond any shadow of a doubt that there is merit to what Andre was saying here and that Becker did in fact give away the direction of his serve based on where he was pointing his tongue. It was a very interesting tick that he had uh, more towards the beginning of his career. Andre actually mentioned that there was a period of time where Becker stopped doing this and Andre would describe this as being a moment of sheer terror because now he was forced to deal with one of the greatest serves, at least up to this point in the game, and he had no tell for it. Uh, if we go back and look at Agassi's quarterfinal encounter with Becker at the 1992 Wimbledon Championships, we can see right away here that Becker is no longer pointing his tongue and the tell is not in effect here. Uh, one interesting thing to mention with this match is that Andre would go on to win it. Uh, it would be his first and only win against Becker on grass, but it would take him five sets to do it. And now if we fast forward a few years later, we're going to see their second meeting at Wimbledon. And once again, Becker is not using the tell here. He did use it for the earlier parts of the match, but I did notice as the match went on, um, he was no longer pointing his tongue which might have possibly affected the outcome of the match. Maybe this is part of the reason why Andre would go on to lose this match against Becker. And then if we skip ahead here to the 95 US Open semifinal, we can see yet again that Becker is no longer using the tell. So this leads me to believe that maybe things might have worked out a bit differently for Becker if he hadn't had that tell uh, towards the beginning of his career but at least now we know for a fact this tell did exist. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you at the next one.